Hello, everyone. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you so much for tuning in. Welcome to your next installment of Connecting with Your Inner Masculine. Yes. So this is a general reading. Please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. If you'd like a look into the situation with your own internal masculine energies, please don't, don't hesitate to email me. My email can be found in the description box below. Um, so this is a topic that has been born of the twin flame or divine partnership situation. Yes, situationship, if you want to call it that. Um, so where this is, uh, and, and which the, the twin flame situation is like, um, the ultimate goal there is the union and the balance of masculine and feminine. And what it looks like in the external is a romantic relationship or a, rom a relationship between two individuals, one embodying the masculine energy, one embodying the feminine energy. Now, keep in mind that when we talk about this in these situations, we're talking about energies, all right? We're not talking about gender. So, for example, me personally, I am physically male, okay? I was born a man, um, but I am more uh, energetically, okay, I f am more feminine in energy than I am masculine. So I'm feminine dominant energy, right? So in this situation, I would be considered the feminine counterpart. Whereas the other person in the part of the situation would be the masculine part counterpart. Okay, now I personally am gay. Um, so I would be attracting uh, a physical male that would embody the masculine energies. But there are others out there that are straight or even bisexual or whatnot whatever but for for under for understanding you know for purposes of understanding there are uh, counterparts out there that are heterosexual or straight the man embodying the feminine energy the woman embodying the masculine energy okay so this has nothing to do with physical gender this is all energetic okay and we are using the labels of masculine and feminine in order to distinguish between the two sides of the counterparts or the two pieces of the whole all right so what we're looking at here is what's going on with your inner masculine energies this the the intention of this reading is to help you get into further uh, connection, a deeper connection to help you build a deeper bond with your own inner masculine energies. Now you will, you may be able to get a glean, a glimpse as to what you are, what a counterpart in the external world may be experiencing, may be going through, but really the intention here is to look at what's going on internally for you. All right. And also keep in mind that just because this is born of the twin flame divine partnership, topic it does not mean that you have to be on that path or resonating with that path or even looking to um uh attract a twin flame or counterpart into your life this is really these readings are meant for anyone and everyone that would like to have a deeper and stronger bond internally okay excellent so with all of that said let's get into this Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the masculine collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved. Please give us a clear and accurate representation of the current energies of our inner feminine, I'm sorry, not feminine, our inner masculine, excuse me, um, and collectively the masculine energies. And please help us with information on how to further connect with our inner masculine energies. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, before I get started, I am being guided to um, and give a little bit of a definition. So I feel like some of you are asking, okay, well, what is masculine and what is feminine? Well, symbolically speaking, the masculine is the doer, okay, is the electric charge, is the positive charge, is the energy that goes and does, is action oriented, is results oriented, is process oriented, okay? The masculine is the energy that, that sets out 
and to, to complete a task or to get something done. The feminine is the negative charge or the, um, the passive energy, the receptive energy. The feminine is more of the attractive, the one that draws towards her. She gets things done, but she does it differently in the sense of she mag, she, she gravitates. She has things, she, she attracts things to her. She pulls things, that which she needs, desires and whatnot, whatever, she pulls that in towards her, okay? So that's a little bit of a way of understanding how to distinguish between the masculine and the feminine. So if you're feeling in an energy, excuse me, my nose just started running. Um, okay, if you're feeling in a, in a place where you want to do something, you're action oriented, you're, 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 you're getting things done, you're completing tasks, you're going out in the world and you're doing this, that, and the other, you're, you're acting from your place of masculine energy. If you're feeling more receptive, oh, also the feminine is, uh, emotional in nature. She also represents magic and, um, uh, 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 abundance, birth, gestation, the womb, um, and, uh, uh, did I say magic? Also intuition and psychic ability, that kind of stuff. Okay. But then also the feminine, if you're feeling a little more sedentary, you're feeling like you just want to rest, you just want to, you want to meditate, or you're feeling you're, you're working with your emotions, that kind of thing. That is the, that is you expressing yourself from more of your feminine energies. The goal here is to really get them into balance. Now that balance isn't going to look the same for everybody. All right. Um, but that balance is whatever it needs to be for you. And that's what the goal of these readings is trying to help you with. Okay. So we have a number of things that I'm going to look into here and I have a, a tarot deck for each one of these topics that we're looking into. The first one I want to look into in terms of your inner masculine energy is what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies? What is you, what, where is your inner masculine right now? All right. And for that, I'm going to use the unicorn tarot. All right, guys. So let's give this five shuffles here and we'll see what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies. What's going on for your inner masculine right now? How is he feeling? That's four, I believe. And five here. Yeah. We're going to call this five. I've lost, I lost track, but you know what? We're good here. So we're going <laughs> to, we're just going to get going here. All right. So what is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies? Current energetic state of the inner, of your inner masculine. What is the current energetic state of your inner masculine energies? The two of wands. Okay. In the process of making some sort of decision, we have the five of pentacles. Ooh, we have the page of pentacles. Oh, there's more. All right. We, we also have the star. Uh, but I'm going to keep shuffling because I, I, I'm going to stop here. So. This is this is a very interesting topic uh, and energy to feel through. It feels like the inner masculine here or your inner masculine here is in the process of trying to make some sort of decision. It, potentially, I feel like he, your inner masculine may know that there is a decision that needs to be made in some way. And the thing that's keeping him from doing it is feelings of inadequacy. Not, <clears throat> not wanting to start, not feeling like you're not able to, or he's not able to start to make some sort of commitment. There is a bit of resistance here in terms of starting over or like getting into some sort of situation in which he would be seen as an apprentice or, um, you know, I'm going to, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. There is a feeling of inadequacy. Yes. But then there's also a feeling of weakness that comes from moving forward in some way because he's going to need to step into some sort of uncharted territory. And that has to do when it comes, it has to do with connecting with the feminine energies. 
And there's a feeling of inadequacy here that he's facing, that your inner masculine is facing, and he's not... He, it's almost as if he's not willing to make this decision right now or move in this direction right now to start this new path, to start this new journey, to make some sort of offer, which would be an offer of commitment in some way. And yes, you would need to commit to this new path in order for you to really reap the benefits of it and to grow and to be able to be solid in it. And, and it's mainly because of feelings of inadequacy, a feeling of weakness. Okay. Now, with the star energy here, there is healing, all right? There's also wish fulfillment, but the thing that I'm getting from this is that the universe, maybe even his inner guidance system, his in, his intuition, maybe it is his the inner feminine that might be calling him on this path. And because he can't logically see who it is that's calling him or where this is going to lead him, there is resistance in making this decision. Let's keep going. Let's get a little bit more here. What is the current energetic state of your inner masculine? Ooh. Uh-oh. Okay, overall energy here. Wow. Oh, wow. All right, so we have the emperor now. 11-11 on the counter. Holy moly. There is a lot. Of, there's, there's a good amount of mirroring that's happening already because for the feminine... She got the empress in her energy. In the masculine energies, now we have the emperor as the overall energy, but I kind of feel like there's a bit of stubbornness here with this, uh, with this emperor energy, especially with the king of wands that's here now, okay? There, there's a bit of stubbornness, there's a bit of pride and a bit of ego here, all right? But here we go. We also have the world with the four of pentacles. Um, your inner masculine is at a place right now where he's needing to let go of some things all right there is a there is a cycle of there is a cycle that's closing out and i'm not going to lie you guys i feel resistance here and i'm hearing your inner masculine is resisting heavily all right this could be coming through for you as an ego battle where your ego is flaring up in ways that um are really feeling kind of inconvenient, petty, frustrating. It really could be quite frustrating, okay? There is a sense of security and balance here that seems to be, that I think that, that, that maybe your inner masculine is perceiving to, have be, to be lost here, but that really is not the case. I'm hearing that your inner masculine is not wanting to give up control right now. But I also kind of feel like that is, that's inevitable. A lot of what, okay, well, this isn't the most agreeable energy, but what I'm getting from this, you guys, is that um, for some reason I just heard petty larceny. Those of you who are proficient in legal terminology would be able to get something from that. I mean, I kind of, I kind of, I kind of feel like I understand what it means. I don't know exactly what petty larceny means, but I think, isn't larceny a type of theft? And what I'm getting here, <laughs> what I'm getting right now is that the inner, your inner masculine energies are kind of grasping at straws trying to keep as much control as possible, not realizing that, that yes, he, he does have to give up some control, but not all control. And the thing about what I'm seeing here is this is a product of being in a patriarchal society for so long in which masculine energies were the dominant ones. What we're moving into right now is a balance, okay? A balance of equal equality between masculine and feminine energy. So what is needing to happen is the masculine here is needing to relinquish some of his control over society, over our system, over your life, we could say, um, in order to allow the feminine to come to rise into her power, into her place, and for the two of them to be equals. But the masculine is having trouble with this. There is a feeling of inadequacy. There is a feeling of fear of being weak or being perceived to be to perceived as weak 
because he's no longer in control, full in con full control, or is no longer in the place of power that he has been so comfortable in for so long. This is definitely also an energy of being, of needing to step out of the comfort zone, of being pushed out of his comfort zone. There's a big ending that, um, ooh, there's a massive ending, excuse me, there's a massive ending that's happening here. A major completion of an overarching cycle. Now, it's so funny because in terms of twin flames, like if you are resonating with the twin flame situation, we have two depictions of the divine masculine energy. We have the emperor and we have the king of wands. I find that really interesting. Well, now also, I, if we are talking twin flames, your inner masculine energy is currently stepping into the true resemblance of balanced and healthy masculine energies. So with that, there's going to be some toxic purging. That makes perfect sense. Okay. So now let's move forward here. I want to look at next what your inner masculine is being challenged with. And it's interesting because the current energies that your inner masculine are in, look, they seem pretty challenging. But that's just what, that's just the current energetic vibration that he's holding, okay? That's, we're gonna look at what exactly is challenging the mass, your inner masculine. What is your inner masculine up against? What is your inner masculine facing, okay? The challenge that he's facing. And for this, I'm using the epic tarot deck. So we're gonna give this five shuffles here. What is the current challenge that your inner masculine is facing? We've got shuffle number three here. Four, what is the current challenge that your inner masculine is facing? And five, for your inner masculine energies. What are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing? Let's see what we've got here. What are the current challenges that your inner masculine is facing? The King of Cups. Emotional responsibility, emotional maturity. Oh, yes. In diddly do. Mm -hmm. Got the Eight of Swords. Underneath the Eight of Swords, you got the Hanged Man. And then finally, we've got the Seven of Cups. Oh, with Temperance at the bottom of the deck. Now, Temperance is the overall energy here. This is official. Well, this is the second instance of mirroring, actually, because the feminine got her own, stepping into her own power with the empress in her current surrounding energies or the current energy she's embodying. The masculine got the emperor, which represents his energies. And now in the uh, current challenge here, we have temperance coming out for both the masculine and the feminine. So, okay, the challenge here for both the masculine and the feminine is the integration. Now, for the masculine specifically, this has to do with dealing with and facing his emotions. But I love the way the Seven of Cards is depicted in this deck, and it's really quite, quite perfect for the situation that we have at hand because it's like the masculine, your inner masculine, is kind of in a, situ in a situation where he kind of refuses to look at the emotions he has in front of him or the emotional reality that he is challenged with facing he doesn't want to he doesn't want to look at it i'm not i'm not going to look at it i'm not going to look at it but and yet it's what he's being called to do now maybe that's been the situation in which that he's been in in the past where he was saying to himself okay look, where he was saying look i'm not looking at this no i i refuse emotions what are those absolutely not how dare you even suggest i look at emotions or or, or deal with emotions well the time is coming up because if, if you want to, in terms of your inner masculine, if you want to remove yourself or release yourself from some sort of mental prison here with the Eight of Swords, you're going to have to do, deal with a change in perspective. So it kind of looks like the energies, the, the dynamic has shifted because the feminine had been dealing with a change in perspective with this hanged man energy for two weeks worth of these readings that I had done, okay? 
And now it seems that the masculine is getting his turn and working on facing things and changing his perspective. Which ultimately is um, helping to strike this balance, this temperance, okay, of the masculine and the feminine energies. Now, temperance is a card of balance, of patience, of union, all right? And in temperance, we are, oh, it's also a symbol, sim, sim, symbolic of alchemy, right? Where you're taking two opposing or two different compounds or, or uh, uh, ingredients or whatnot and like fusing them together or alchemizing them to create a new substance, a new compound, right? So in terms of this, we have combining the masculine and the feminine energies, okay, the two polar opposites and combining them into one greater whole. In order to do that though, the masculine needs to start working with feeling through his emotions. The feminine would need to work with feeling through practical elements of physical life, physical world, blah, blah, blah. The feminine is doing that in connecting with her, uh, her natural abundance that is allowing her to achieve that, that which she desires or strives for in the physical world. The masculine does this by working with his emotions that allow him to understand which direction he's moving in and whether that's the right direction for him or not. All right, your emotions are your compass. Your emotions are necessary. All right, we were given emotions for a specific reason and they are part, an integral, extremely important part of the manifestation process. Okay. All right. So now I want to look at what does your inner masculine have to say? If you could sit in front of your inner masculine right now and have a conversation with him, what would he say? Now, <coughs> excuse me, you can, in fact, sit, get into a meditative state and start to communicate, start to open a dialogue with your inner masculine. But for the purposes of this reading, we're going to use the cards to see this for right now. All right. So what is it that your inner masculine wants to say right now for this? I'm using ooh, I'm using the golden universal tarot and we already have some flyers. Wow. All right. So we have the seven of pentacles and the ace of wands with the page of wands and the queen of, I'm sorry, the page of swords and the queen of wands. The queen of wands here I am seeing as symbolizing the feminine energies. And it's funny because in this portion of the feminine deck, or I'm sorry, the feminine reading in which we were saying, what does your inner feminine have to say or want to say right now? Queen of wands came out. So the ma here, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to reshuffle and I'm going to get some more, but here already the masculine is acknowledging the presence of the inner feminine, your inner feminine, whatnot, whatever, the presence of the feminine energies and the influence of the feminine energies in his or her life is feeling drawn towards her because the queen of wands is very magnetic. And this is actually a continuation of what the message of the feminine had to say, because the feminine was saying, do not give her, her message was do not give up on this counterpart situation. Do, the, the masculine may be struggling, maybe putting up a fight, whatever. That's his process. Let him go through it. Okay. Do not give up on this counterpart situation. And here the masculine is confirming, yes, I am aware of us. I am aware of this counterpart situation. I am aware of this relationship between us. I'm aware of this connection within us. You are pulling me in and I'm watching, I'm taking note, I'm paying attention, king of, uh, um, uh, ooh, wow, okay, page of swords, interesting, I'll, I'm going to continue, but, he, but currently what he's saying is he's going through a process of understanding the contrast with the seven of pentacles, which is allowing him to generate this new sense of desire, this new creative direction he wants to move in, is helping generate some sort of inspiration for him. Now, I was about to say the king of swords when I was mentioning the page of swords, but I feel like that's because the page of swords can be seen as the sentry, as the scout, as the individual that the king or the queen sends out to gain information. So, 
in saying, in mentioning the King of Swords when, when, refer, when referring to the Page of Swords, to me that was saying that he, the inner masculine, as the King of Swords, is sending out his scouts to gather information, to probably watch the feminine. Now that doesn't mean he's like, he might be sending his friends or keeping tabs on you with his friends and whatnot, or your friends or whatnot, whatever, but also he could be watching you, stalking your page. But this is to gain understanding. I mean, yes, it's creepy, but also like in many cases, he does his pride and his ego, hello, his pride and his ego are not allowing him to be upfront and honest and, and step forward and say, I wanna know what's going on with you. I wanna talk to you. I wanna communicate, like, let's do this. Well, fine. Let him go through, let your masculine, let your inner masculine go through his or her process. It's none of your business, feminine. Just let it happen, all right? Heed the message that the feminine had for you in saying, keep the faith, do not give up, regardless of the circumstances, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna give this five shuffles here and then we'll see what else the masculine, your inner masculine wants you to know. Or what else your inner masculine has to say, yes? This is two. This is three. Four. What does your inner masculine have to say? And five. For the inner masculine energies. All right, here we go. What does your inner masculine, woo! Oh shit, well there's the king of wands again, all right. All right, so there's the mirroring. There's the mirroring because the Queen of Wands came out in, wow, all right. The Queen of Wands came out in um, what she wanted you to know, what she wanted to say. And so now we have the King of Wands. So this is definitely acknowledgement. And I heard it when it came out, when I, was, when I put it down on the table, I heard him say, I do recognize that I am this counterpart. I get it. I know it's here, I know it's real. I'm working on it, all right? You have the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck as the overall energy for what your inner masculine wants you to know. Oh yes, the lovers, the page of pet, holy shit, the Two of Cups, and then we have the Knight of Cups in reverse. Whoa. So what your inner masculine is wanting you to know here is he knows. He's acknowledging, he's acknowledging the situation. He knows what's in front of him now. He's not quite ready to move forward yet. Pay, uh, Knight of Wands, I'm sorry, Knight of Cups. He's not, he's not ready to move forward to offer you any sort of love right now. There is fear involved, but here's why. Page of Pentacles. He's just starting to become conscious of this, consciously aware of what this situation is between you two, between the masculine and between him and the feminine, all right? He's, and this actually, I am getting an energy with this page of pentacles, I'm getting an energy of becoming aware of spiritual reality. It's coming through as a page of pentacles because he's, it's like he's starting to ground that into his existence, into his life, all right? And that's not easy. Okay, the masculine and the masculine energies are very much physically oriented, right? They're very much about facts, about tangible elements. Can I hear it, see it, taste it, smell it, touch it? Um, is there is there science? But like, what's the science behind it? I, I want to be able to 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 see it with my own eyes. Blah blah blah. 
He's just now starting to get open, become open to this whole idea of there's more to existence, there's more to life, there's more to this world than what we can physically see. And so things are coming, this is coming through as the page of pentacles because he's now starting He's beginning, he's in the very beginning phases of grounding this and integrating this into his life, which is going to cause, in many cases, major upheaval. Because what I'm seeing is, this is going to change the dynamic between him and his family. This is gonna change the dynamic between him and his friends. His friend circle may die out altogether, that kind of thing. So, this is gonna take time, you guys. But we have the lovers with the Two of Cups, okay? This is, to me, the Two of Cups is the minor arcana version of the lovers. So it's more than just, see, this is literally, because it came out like this. The Page of Pentacles is in between the lovers and the Two of Cups. So we have this representation of the, of the union between the masculine and feminine in the fifth dimension or in spiritual reality, represented by the major arcana of the, uh, of the lovers. And then we have the physical representation of that relationship in the 3D realm in the Two of Cups. But between the two of those is the Page of Pentacles. The inner masculine is working on grounding this relationship into his world. Which is why he's not quite ready to make any sort of emotional offer right now. I mean, think about it. He's being challenged with facing his emotions. He's being challenged with stepping a little bit out of this King of Wands energy, who is very focused, very egotistical, maybe quite narcissistic in certain situations, a go-getter, the doer, the action-oriented, focused on his passions and whatnot. He's being, he's being shifted out, uh, out, of, out, out of this energy a little bit and more into the King of Cups energy, the emotions, the emotional maturity, the emotional responsibility, that sort of thing. Leading with the heart, going after what it is the heart desires or the heart is leading you towards, right? Is calling for. This is his overall energy and what he wants you to know. He's working on that. He's working on shifting into this emotionally available entity or individual that he knows he is meant to be. Let me say that again. That he knows he is meant to be, okay? Not any of this patriarchal shit about how, you know, emotions are a sign of weakness and blah, blah, blah. Oh, no, no, that's all bullshit, guys. It's all bullshit, okay? And the masculine energies, the masculine collective right now is in the process, is challenged with setting the record straight there and coming to terms with his own inner masculinity, with his own sense, excuse me, his own sense of masculinity in terms of integrating the emotions into that. It's not an easy process, all right? <clears throat> but this is a good thing. Progress is being made here. Whether you can see it in the physical or not, that doesn't matter because the physical is a direct reflection, a direct representation of your internal reality. So if anything is gonna change in the physical, it has to start on the internal. Yes? Okay. <clears throat> All right. Next, I wanna look at action steps that you can take to further connect with and integrate with your inner masculine energies. Yes? Let's give this five shuffles here. So how can we further connect and or integrate with our inner masculine energies? This is three. Okay, the first thing that's coming through here that came through really strong, having compassion. This journey is hard, guys, especially for those of us that are more feminine oriented. We're, I guess you could say technically we're a little further along on this path than the masculine is. That does not make you any better, okay? It does not make you any better. It just, it's just a difference in the way the path is experienced and expressed between the masculine and feminine energies, all right? But think about it this way, especially for those that are in the feminine collective. That was three. No, it was two. All right, we're on three. Um, 
I've lost count again. It doesn't matter. Moving on. Uh, this, this was really challenging. So you've got to think about how challenging it was for you and then put into perspective what the masculine is faced with in this day and age. And then you tell me that you want him to hurry the fuck up already. Like, come on. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, damn. So the first thing that com that's coming through here is please have some compassion. Okay? He's doing his best. He's trying. Really, I promise. All right? <laughs> Number three. So how can we connect, further connect with the inner masculine energies? Four... What action steps can we take to further connect with your inner masculine energies? And five. The King of Cups and the King of Wands have both come out twice. I just realized that. I knew the King of Cups came out twice. I just realized the King of Wands came out twice. Because the King of Wands came out in your divine, in your inner masculine's current surrounding like current energies where is he currently right now all right so let's see what action steps can we take to further connect with our inner masculine energies here what action steps aside from compassion having compassion of course the nine of pentacles Ooh. remain in your independence remain in your autonomy we're gonna that's it that's literally all that's coming through here we're going to stop right there. Ace of Swords. Oh, yes. So, beautiful. I love this. Remain in your truth. Remain in your integrity. Remain in your authenticity. Remain in your autonomy. Remain in your independence. Remain in the, in the idea or the understanding of who you know yourself to be. Because this is influencing the masculine to get there himself. So this actually, this really does feel like a message directly to the feminine energies or the feminine counterparts. You staying in your independence is influencing the masculine to cultivate his own or her own. Stand tall, stand firm, stay in your abundance as well. And we were talking about that with the feminine energies because she has, she is, Standing fully in her power of abundance. Beautiful. That was a very clear message. Okay. So now let's close out the reading with some oracle guidance for you guys. Yeah. Oracle guidance from your inner masculine. Oracle guidance for your inner masculine. Take it as it resonates. And we're using... The dragon oracle for this one, yes? Last shuffle. All right, guys. So, oracle guidance in terms of your masculine, your inner masculine energies here. From the dragons. And I do kind of feel like this is advice for the masculine energies in dealing with his or her challenges, okay? Stretched, uh, 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 straight from, directly from the dragons on how to deal with it. That's what, that's what it feels like is coming about to come through here. We're just gonna, there it is. All right. We have Lilac Fire Dragon. Transmutes through the power of divine love. Open up to transcendent love and enlightenment. Purity of heart brings peace, hope, and joy. And actually, and this, Literally, what I'm feeling right now, and we're going to read about the card, but what, this, what I'm feeling right now is this is the energy that's going to help the masculine or your inner masculine get, get through this integration process with his emotions, all right? Getting into touch with his emotions. It's this divine love that's going, that's going to help him realize and break free from the, 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 the conditioning and the patterns that keep him from feeling into his emotions. There is a sense of weakness when it comes to the emotions. And this divine love here is going to help him or her understand that expressing your emotions, working with your emotions, being aware of your emotions does not make you weak at all. Okay. Fifth dimensional dragon, lilac fire, 44. 
These dragons are fifth dimensional. However, they can reach up into the ninth dimension to access the awesome lilac fire of source, which is a new energy recently graced to earth. This carries transcendent love as well as enlightenment. When these dragons pour their lilac fire over and through us, we are bathed in divine feminine light, which has the power to dissolve all lower energies in pure love and bring us peace, hope, and joy. It also bathes us in the higher divine feminine qualities of wisdom, agape, and oneness. Having this energy in our aura may even allow us to experience bliss and ecstasy. The guidance here is, when you choose this card, a lilac fire dragon will touch you with incredible ninth dimensional light. So call it in and ask it to touch you. As it approaches you, breathe in divine love and sense the lilac fi fire enveloping you. This will enable you to, go, to let go of the old easily, calmly, and grace graciously. Notice particularly how you feel when this dragon touches you and sense the purity of the love that it radiates. Ask this dragon to remain with you to anchor the glorious light of the lilac fire and take you into a new and illuminated way of being. When you do this, the love radiating from your heart will become purer and more beautiful. People will sense this and respond with trust, respect, and gratitude. Consciously work with this beautiful dragon and notice the difference it makes into your life and the quality of love around you. Beautiful, guys. So there you have it. I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, again, if you would like a look into what's going on with your inner masculine energies, please don't hesitate to email me. My email is in the description box below. But with that, I hope you guys have a great day and I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yes, take care. Mwah! Bye!